Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Last year, we shared with you a line of FPGA boards from Alcatree. FPGAs, or Field Programmable Gate Arrays, are devices known as programmable hardware or programmable logic. Now, these boards are great because when you get them, they can do absolutely nothing. But load the proper configuration, and they can do practically anything, becoming almost any digital circuit you want. A digital logic is the basis for every task that a computer can do, so having a solid foundation in digital logic can really help you with your build. And these boards can help you with that. Let's take another look at the Alcatree Gold, the Alcatree Copper, the Alcatree IO, and the Alcatree BR. The Alcatree Gold is Alcatree's flagship development board. It sports an Arctic 7 XC7A35T-1C FPGA with over 33,000 logic cells. It offers 102 3.3-volt logic-level I.O. pins, 20 of which can be switched to 1.8-volt, 9 different analog inputs, 8 general-purpose LEDs, and a 100 MHz onboard clock that can be manipulated internally by the FPGA, a USB-C connector to configure and power the board, and a USB to serial interface for data transfer. Additionally, this latest iteration of the Alcatree Gold hosts a quick connector to make adding sensors to your build incredibly, well, relatively simple. If you don't need that much power to start out, then consider the Alcatree Copper board. It uses a Lattice ICE-40 HX FPGA with 7,680 logic cells and is supported by the open source toolchain project IceStorm. It's got 79 I.O. pins with 8 general purpose LEDs, a 100 MHz onboard clock that can be manipulated internally by the FPGA, a USB-C connector to configure and power the board, and a USB to serial interface for data transfer. And like the Alcatree Gold, it too now has a quick connector on board. The Alcatree I.O. is the perfect way to get your feet wet with digital design. The plethora of buttons and LEDs lend themselves to fantastic beginner tutorials that will walk you through all the basics. This I.O. element has four 7-segment LED digit displays, five momentary push buttons, 24 LEDs, and 24 dip switches. Once you're ready to start prototyping, you'll want to grab the Alcatree Breakout element. This board has all of the signals broken out to 0.1-inch holes with additional holes to allow more custom work. We offer it populated with top headers, or if you don't plan on stacking anything on top of it, you can save a little money and get it without the top headers. If you're watching this video, chances are good that you're also acutely aware that NASA just launched another rocket to Mars. And that rocket is carrying a rover, Perseverance. And that rover is carrying a helicopter, Ingenuity. And they'll land on Mars in February of 2021 and go about their little robot tasks, whistling their little robot tunes. And none of that would be possible without digital logic. Now I will say, even if you've been programming in Arduino or Python for years, FPGA is a whole new beast. You're working on a whole different level. Well, say you want to blink an LED. In Arduino, you blink an LED. You don't really worry that much about your processor speed or most significant bits. But with FPGA, that's exactly how you blink an LED. And that might seem like a lot, but suppose you want to do multiple processes. Say you want to do like two dozen processes at once. Well, by the nature of the void loop in Arduino, those are going to happen in order. And the more processes you have, the more delay between the time each one happens. And you might not even see it, but keep adding them and it's going to start to become significant in the computing world. FPGA eliminates that delay because you can make multiple circuits occur at the same time. Think of it like this. You've got 10 candy bars on the table. You want all 10 candy bars. In Arduino, you get one hand and you grab 10 candy bars in order. With FPGA, you get 10 hands and you get to grab every candy bar at once. That's the beauty of FPGA. Now, working with the gold and the I.O. element, figuring out how to illuminate the LED arrays while simultaneously chasing through the segments of the four seven-segment displays seemed like some kind of voodoo black magic to me, even just a couple of days ago. But with the tutorials we're using with Justin over at Alcatree, and shout out to that guy, he is amazing. Uh, those tutorials, along with the Alcatree Labs programmer, make it all much less painful. I even got comfortable choosing which LEDs to light up. If you're ready to roll up your sleeves and really dig under the hood of how digital logic works, then you're ready for FPGA. It won't be an easy journey, but once things start to click, you'll be amazed at what you can do with these incredible little boards. So pick up your Alcatree Gold, Alcatree Copper, Alcatree IO, and Alcatree BR over at sparkfun.com. And as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking!
FPGAs, or field programmable gate arrays. Gate arrays, is that right? Yeah, it just sounded, sounded too much like Gatorade. And go about the little rocket, ah, little robot, little robot tasks. Our device is known as programmable logic or programmable hardware. <laughs> I got distracted by the puppy. <laughs> Load the proper configuration, and they can do practically anything, becoming almost any digital circuit you want. A digital... Ugh. Oh, you're on the right track. Again. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, blah, 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 technical stuff. Ooh, puppy. <laughs> okay, here we go.